Hi toy fans! Today is Retro Toy Tuesday, and we're going to take a look at a Star Wars toy, the 1984 Ewok Family Hut by Kenner. The original retail price for this playset was around $25, and it was recommended for children from ages 2 to 5. The top of the playset features a handle for easier carrying. There is also a square button at the top of the hut that when pushed lifts the treetop up to give access to the treehouse. The inside of the hut is decorated with stickers on the interior walls and a few stickers for rugs. There are four different Ewok characters included with this playset. I have six different versions of the characters and I'm no longer sure which ones were originally sold with the set and which ones were sold separately. The included Ewoks are a princess, Wicket, Zephy, and Gwig. Also included was an alien horse-like creature called a Baga or Baga? I'm just going to call him Bagel. Bagel can pull a cart. The cart has two pegs that can secure any of the Ewoks. I think this next accessory was sold separately. It's a stretcher. Bagel cannot pull it, but... The handle fits on top of some of the Ewoks. There is a table with molded detail to look like it was crafted from pieces of hide. There is a barrel and a bucket which may have been sold separately. I have a total of four chairs, but I believe just two of them came with a playset. The Ewoks themselves do not have any articulation, but they can fit inside the shallow basket of the seat of the chair. Another included accessory is drums. The family hut came with one hammock. I guess the Ewoks had to sleep in shifts? Or maybe they took turns to see who got to use it. A fun hang glider with a peg secures an Ewok in safely for flight. It's actually impressive how well the pegs on this playset hold the Ewoks in. A teeter-totter with two pegs allows two Ewoks to play. The tree also has a rope ladder that hangs off the side of the playset and a swing that attaches to the side of the playset. My swing is missing one of the ropes on the side. The hut has a couple of play features. The first is a working elevator. There's a knob on the side of the tree that moves the elevator back and forth between the ground floor and the living quarters. There's plenty of room in the hut for all of the furniture. The bottom of the hut has two stables with opening gates. The cart fits in one stable and Bagel fits in the other. Although I suppose if one of the Ewok kids is being naughty, they could lock him in the stable instead. The top of the hut has a hang glider port. The elevator doesn't reach this high though, and as a kid, I always wondered how the Ewoks got up this high. I, I guess they just climb up the side of the tree? All of the accessories fit inside the hut for easy storage. So that's the Ewok Family Hut. This is the seventh retro toy that I've reviewed, and so far I still believe the playsets made in the 80s are better built and more fun than what's available today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to join me next Tuesday for another retro toy, make sure you subscribe so you can stay updated. And thanks for watching.